If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. You're watching the Morning Swim Show on Thursday, January 2nd, 2014. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. We're officially in 2014 now, but we're going to take a couple more days to look back on some of the best Morning Swim Show interviews from 2013. If you've been watching the Morning Swim Show since the beginning, you know how much we love having Elizabeth Beisel on the show. She's always energetic, always talkative, and always has a smile for us. That was all true in this interview that we first aired on August 26th, when we talked with Beisel about being a college senior. Miss Beisel, it's good to see you again. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Well, first things first, happy 21st birthday. Thanks. Finally, I've been waiting for this for a while, so it's definitely good to be 21. It's exciting. Well, well Ryan Lochte went to Vegas for his birthday. What did you do? I was in Rhode Island, which was really, I don't really ever get to be home and like, see all my high school friends. So I was able to celebrate with them in um, Newport, just somewhere in Rhode Island, and it was, re it was really fun. It was great. Yeah, being at home is probably better than being in Vegas anyway. Probably. <laughs> I miss Ryan, though. Yeah, he's going to, speaking of that, I mean, he's going to be moving on to different locations. How are you, how are you going to be able to get along with, with, um, without him? It'll definitely be hard. Um, I haven't really spoken to him much since Worlds. Um, we've pretty much been really busy, both of us. But um, it's going to be way different because we were always like, especially this past summer, it was sort of him and I training together. So without him, it'll be definitely different. But um, it'll be fine, I think, at first because I'll be with the college team. So it'll be more hard in the summer. Well, in addition to your 21st birthday, you got a lot to celebrate. A bronze medal in the 4 and IM at World Championships. I'm sure you would have loved to have defended your title from 2011. But, you know, we've spoken before about you not being in the same place mentally and physically since the Olympics. So I would imagine you've got to be really excited about going 431 again. Yeah, I was so surprised. Um, you know, this whole past year, post-Olympics, a lot of people deal with it. And... I sort of just had no idea really what to expect going into world championships. I was just really happy I made the team. And, um, you know, during the 4 I was like, whatever happens, happens. Um, you know, Katinka was having a great meet. Maria was having a great meet. Yushi Wen was in the heat. So it was, it was going to be a tough race no matter what. So for me to come out with a medal and go 431, which is when I went last year, was definitely sort of a confidence booster coming into this year. And it was sort of motivating because now that – I think I can be better than that for this year, so we'll see. Yeah, what are we going to have to do to get you in the 430 or 429 range? I know. I've been at 431 for like two and a half years now, and it's so frustrating. Um, so, you know, hopefully breaking 431 is definitely the goal, but um, I think I'll be able to do it with Coach Troy here next year, hopefully. That's the goal. Well, the gold medal to that 400 IM Katinka Haas, as you said, had a great meet. I was, I was curious as someone who was in that heat. I mean, the crowd was going crazy because she was under world record pace for almost the entire race. I mean, were you aware of how loud that crowd was getting? Yeah, the crowd in Barcelona was honestly one of the best crowds that I've ever swam um, in front of. I think the only comparable one was Rome in 2009 when, like, Federica Pellegrini was having a great meet. Um, but... It, we sort of like, Katinka and I were joking about it. We were like, yeah, we just like pretended the Spanish people were cheering for us because they were so loud. And like, obviously they were going crazy for Belmonte, but um, it was, they were an awesome crowd and they were always so energetic and stuff. And it really does help, especially during a 400 IM. Well, I cannot believe that it's your senior year at Florida. I mean, I, it just seems like yesterday you were making the 2008 Olympic team. I like... I'm so scared. I'm like, where, where did my life go? But it's, it's for sure exciting. I think this is the most excited I've been for a college season. And, um, you know, I sort of want to go out with a bang just because NCs hasn't really gone as well as I would have hoped it to the past three years. So I'm really looking forward to working hard this year and, you know, 
hopefully improving on our finish from last year at NCs. And I, I heard the, the pool you swim at at Gainesville is getting some improvements. That's got to make you excited, too. Oh, it's so exciting. Um, I was actually in there today. The pool inside is completely empty, and they're redoing the bottom, giving us new blocks, new diving boards. Um, we, like, expanded our swim offices, so we have this great new team room with, like, all these flat-screen TVs, and they're putting new blocks outside. And it's so exciting for us because, like, Swimming never really gets anything, so we're like, finally, like, we have something nice. So it's definitely another, like, plus coming back this year. Yeah, I remember going there for a dual meet, gosh, 20 years ago. And, and you know, every year I see pictures of the pool, and, like, they just have never changed that pool. It's just, it's, it's exciting that they're finally doing it. I mean, given all the success that Florida's had, not just in college swimming, but in international swimming, it's, it's great to see that they're finally um, putting some money into it. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's Well, there's we all joke, there's, like, pictures of Coach Nesty. Like, uh, we have, like, all these national champion pictures, and he's in one of them, and the pool is literally the exact same. So we're definitely excited. Well, how does the team look this year? We look really great. Um, we got a transfer in from UCLA, Megan Rank, and she's a distance swimmer. And um, we also have um, a couple great freshmen coming in, um, you know, we didn't really lose that many people last year. We only lost Jamie Bohanicki. She was our only senior. So um, it's pretty much we just got a lot of great additions, and um, we're really looking forward to this year. I think I think we were like fifth or sixth last year, and we'll hopefully be better than that this year. That's the goal. Yeah, one of the things I think really surprised me about the team last year was Elise Zalewski, who just came out of no I think everybody was like, you know, she made finals and, and I think almost won the 100 fly. So I, I think people like that were have been a big boost for your team. And I'm sure you're expecting a lot more from that this year. And, um, you know, Natalie Hines, she was only a freshman and she did awesome. Sinead Russell and um, Alicia Matthew also had like the summer of her life. Um, she had a great long course season this summer. So, um, you know, hopefully she can turn that over to short course. And I think we're really going to be good. So. All right, so this is your senior year in the pool. Are you, do you think you're going to be able to graduate in May, or will there be a, a few more semesters left? Um, I'm on track right now to graduate in May, but there may or may not be an internship that I need to do that will, will like sort of postpone my graduation until the fall. But, you know, I'm fine with that because I'm going to be in Gainesville anyways training for 2016. So I'm not really in any rush to graduate right now. I'm just sort of going with the flow whatever happens happens so and I'm just trying to enjoy like senior year and have fun I don't know when I was in college I wanted to get out of there as soon as possible last thing I wanted to do when I was done with with college swimming is to go to school yeah true but maybe, it maybe does I keep it does that. keep you busy just get it over with I say that now then who knows yeah but it does keep you busy and I know you're one of those people who likes to stay busy yeah absolutely <laughs> Well, it's great talking to you. Great catching up with you as always. Have fun this senior year, and uh, we'll see you on deck down the road. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. No problem. All right, so that was Elizabeth Beisel joining us in the Finise Monitor. And that's going to wrap it up for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.